Hey, it's Randy from Voices, and in today's video, we're gonna cover sample rate and bit depth. Let's start off with sample rate. Sample rate defines the number of samples per second taken from a continuous signal to make a discrete or digital signal. To put that more simply, essentially your computer takes multiple snapshots of an incoming audio signal, and it converts it into a digital signal that your computer can understand. Audio frequencies are measured in hertz, or cycles per second. So an audio file that's 24-bit, 48 kilohertz, means that it's sampled 48,000 times per second. You might have noticed that sample rates are always over 40 kilohertz. They start from 44.1 and they work their way up from there. The reason's actually quite simple. The Nyquist principle states that perfect audio reconstruction is only possible when the sample rate is greater than twice the maximum frequency you're trying to record. For example, humans can hear up to around 20 kilohertz. So a sample rate of at least 40 kilohertz is necessary to avoid that aliasing effect in our high frequencies and to allow that theoretical perfect reconstruction. Any fewer samples and those higher frequencies would be sort of averaged, creating this aliasing effect in our high end. To wrap up sample rate, you can think of it like snapshots per second. How many times per second are we asking our computer to describe the incoming audio signal? Bit depth, on the other hand, is the other axis of our audio signal. Bit depth is the number of bits of information in each sample, and it directly corresponds to the resolution of each sample, more specifically, the detail in the dynamic range within our audio. The higher the bit depth, the more dynamic range can be represented within our audio. A one bit audio signal is either a one or a zero, or on or off, whereas a two bit audio signal would have four discrete values. So in our audio, that would translate to full, medium, quiet, and off. Because bits work exponentially, a 16 bit audio signal has 65,536 values, and a 24-bit audio signal has 16,777,000 values. When you have really, really low bit depths, you may run into quantization errors. This happens when there just aren't enough discrete values to correctly describe your audio signal. You can imagine at the end of a song with a slow fade out, if the bit depth is too low, you'll hear that fade out at the end go from loud to medium to quiet and then suddenly off because there's just no discrete values between quiet and off in this case. To conclude, you can think of sample rate and bit depth working in perfect harmony. As your audio signal comes into your computer, your computer takes a picture of that incoming audio signal, and that's our sample rate. And then your computer rounds the dynamics to the nearest value. That's our bit depth. Anything over 16-bit 44.1 will be sufficient for recording these days, which is actually CD quality. That being said, most people record at 24-bit 48K or higher. If you wanna learn more about dynamics processing in your audio, I would suggest watching this video next. As always, happy auditioning, and we'll see you in the next one.